Good afternoon, faith-filled ones. Romans 3.27 says, Can we boast then that we have done anything to be accepted by God? No, because our acquittal is not based on obeying the law. It is based on the law of faith. God operates according to spiritual laws, like the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus and the law of sin and death. But today, I want to talk to you about the law of faith. Just like there are natural laws, such as the law of gravity, there are spiritual laws. Natural laws are constant. They work the same way all the time. The same is true where spiritual laws are concerned. They are always working. When you activate the law of faith, you will be healed, become prosperous, and walk in all the fullness of God. Jesus said in Matthew 9.21, excuse me, 9.29, according to your faith, be it unto you. So we must understand where faith comes from. Romans 10.17 says, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Also, as believers, this is how we live. We walk by faith and not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5.7 The way we develop our faith is by putting it to work, by hearing the Word and speaking it. Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith, according to Hebrews 12.2. And if we want to walk in victory, We must walk by faith in God's word and in his promises. 2 Corinthians 1.20 says, All the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen, to the glory of God by us. Believe it or not, Romans 14.23 says, Whatsoever is not of faith is sin. And Hebrews 11.6 goes on to say, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Let's walk by faith and achieve victory over this evil world through our faith in God's word. Well, God bless you guys. If you were encouraged today and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click Donate. I encourage you today to walk victoriously according to the law of faith. See you tomorrow.